Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another close-up review. So this is of the Spiral Oracle and I've had it for a while but I put it to the side to do a close-up review for a day when I really have time to go through all the cards and really appreciate the artwork. Um, this is 62 cards in here. It's from Lily Acuna and I believe there's 62, yeah, 62 cards. So the Spiral Oracle was created with deep and loving intention. It is a tool in which you can hear your inner voice and find clarity and thus establishing an honest and caring dialogue with yourself and the world around you. And each card is supposed to mirror your own inner world with the potential to reveal valuable information that lives within you. So everything is a special collection. Look how beautiful her artwork is, 62. Uh, cards in here and yeah she here's her little bio here just really gorgeous and so I put it to the side because oh my gosh I love that first card if it will focus you could really lose yourself in the artwork I wanted to take my time it is a gorgeous deck to treat yourself um, down below in the description box like all my videos I'll put where you can get the deck it comes in this wonderful magnetic closed box you open it up and we'll come with a guidebook we'll do a bonus reading at the end and go in here and get the messages Oh, insight, fire, interconnection. I love this. I've worked intensively to open new paths. I've given myself completely to my duty. It is enough. I don't demand any more from myself. Wow. Paying too much attention to my thoughts blocks inspiration. It is better to breathe and let myself go. A radiant light emerges from my chest and everything opens. Confidence. I have complete confidence in universal intelligence. Once I have done enough and more, I stop, I rest, I dream. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Okay, we're going to do a bonus reading at the end. Let's go through all the cards. 62 cards in the Spiral Oracle. But I definitely put it, look how beautiful. I definitely put it to the side for when I would have time to really savor the artwork. These are the backs of the cards. They're large cards. They're thick cards. Great card stock. Not gilded, but they're big and beautiful alignment. Yeah, look at that. And the more you look at it, the more you could see the outline of the face and everything else. It's just gorgeous. Wow, so you could do an oracle card reading. You could just meditate on this card for a while. I mean, this is just beautiful alignment. Ancestral warmth. How stunning is that? I love the light here and the images here and everything. I mean, this is just beautiful. Wow, okay. Becoming world, becoming world. Center, oh, I love how that's depicted. That is gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I've seen pictures online when I was looking at the website and stuff like that, but it doesn't do justice when it's in your hands. Certainty, this is amazing. There are even splashes here, really gorgeous. Children of Light. Beautiful. Clock Time Gateway. Oh my God, that's the card that's on the back that I said I love. Commitment. It's this one. The very first one caught my eye before. Commitment. That is beautiful. These are just beautiful. I mean, you could look at each card forever, for so long. It's just so beautiful. Oh, it's so, th the cards are so thick. Okay, hold on, here's another one. I love this card. I'm pausing a lot on the ones that I love. <gasps> I love this one too, Compassion. How gorgeous is this? This is exquisite. I love how it's almost like diamond etched here. And a peacock. I mean, there's so much to look at in these cards that are just stunning. I love this card so much. I already have my favorites. Connection link. Oh, look at the hawk. This is just really exquisite. And the flower around here. Conscious. There's so much to look at in each card. It's really exquisite. I love this card too. Cool forest shade with the tiger. This is beautiful. Cosmic uterus. This is exquisite. This is stunning. I know I keep saying that. Crystal clear. 
This is like a mini vacation right now from work. Dance of Heartbeats. There's so much going on in these cards. Look at these little birds. I love the eyes here. The turtles and the heart. There's just, you see so much Dance of Heartbeats. It's so pretty. And look at that light going in there in the crown. This is so beautiful. Embrace knowledge. Everything is connected. The Fibonacci. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Flow. You see the face there. Oh, I love that one, Flower of Life. Beautiful colors. Healing Path. I Am the Source. So beautiful. I Am. We'll see at the end what we get as a bonus reading. In Transit. Oh, I love that. In Transit. Incorporate Look at that, that is stunning. Infinite Selknum. Infinity. Look at that. Look at the eyes. Oh, I love this inner sun. Oh my god, that's exquisite. I definitely have some of my favorite cards already. This is beautiful. Inner sun. This is exquisite. Some of them are making me get tears in my eyes. Insight fire. I want to see the face here. Insight fire. Beautiful. Interconnection. Oh, I love them. Life. Lucid Dream. The colors are so cool. The moon. Morning Dew. How beautiful the face here and the face here and the cat. The more you look at it, the more you see it. The cat here, bird, this is really pretty. Morning Dew. Mother Nature. Natural abundance. How oh, I love that. The colors are so pretty. Natural abundance. Open center. I love that. She looks so peaceful. Open center. Open channel. Beautiful. Origins. Own voice. And look at that in the throat. Own voice. Beautiful. Perceptions. Pilgrimage. Reflecting my center of fire. Reflecting my center of fire. Beautiful. Rising. So stunning. Love that yin and yang. Roots and ascending channel. Where it looks like roots. Roots and ascending channel. How beautiful. Sacred geometry. Sacred sensual sexuality. Space time weaver. Stellar embrace. Stories of my mother. Temple of love. The encounter. How beautiful. I love the colors in here. The energy of the Andes. The gift, 
the journey, the sacred feminine, treasure, wholehearted bridge, or oh, I love the name of that, wholehearted bridge. And the winter sewing. Oh, there's one more. Witness of beauty. How gorgeous is that? Wow, I definitely have some of my favorites. <laughs> Sorry for the honks. This was a witness of beauty. How gorgeous was this artwork? You could really get lost in this artwork. So these were 62. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I want to do a bonus reading now for all, but this was 62 cards from Lily. I want to say Lily Akuna. Yeah, I mean, absolutely beautiful. I knew that I wanted to save this for a day. Yeah, Lily Akuna, um, visionary artist, 62 cards. Yeah, just stunning, beautiful. Um, so I want to do a bonus reading right now for all who may find this video or review. And oh, it's easy to shuffle, even though they're large cards. And if you can't wrap your hands, if you don't have big hands, I always show, like you can also shuffle sideways. <laughs> it's my little trick, you know, you can go like that. But I actually have very large hands, so I can do uh, top to bottom, even with this one. Okay, so let's get messages for right now for the Spiral Oracle, a bonus reading for all who may have been here for the review. What are the messages that want to come forward for the Spiral Oracle? And we'll get a taste of the guidebook and see what are the messages that want to come forward for right now. So let me just shuffle a couple of times to get used to beautiful. I'm just like lost. I got totally transported. I was having such a rough day um, at work and I knew that I was going to save this for a time when I wanted to get lost and yeah, it just like brings you back to yourself and you're lost in such beautiful artwork. Um, so let's get the messages for, I'm going to shuffle this way. Let's get them, let's get the messages that want to come forth for right now for all who may find this video. One, there's two. So for right now, we're getting treasure. We're getting treasure. And we're getting winter sewing. So let's get the treasure message. So yes, good. There, it's all in alphabetical order. So very easy to find in the guidebook. So we go into treasure. And we are getting... Hold on a second. We are getting... Oh, wow. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Everything was dark back there. My body had no strength anymore and my food tasted of emptiness. Where is the water to hydrate my dreams? It's here. Something inside me started to scream. Before, I could not recognize the sunrise because I had no experience with the darkest night. I felt the density of my body, my emotions and my past. I had to accept all of it and let it go. I can now understand that the way back to myself is a journey of eternal beauty, and I am amazed and overwhelmed observing this path. I have just discovered the most beautiful wonder, or is it the very first time that I have really seen thy diverse beauty of a rainbow? How many surprises are there waiting for me? And the message is honor my path. Nothing happens by chance, and the road traveled is just perfect. I release the guilt associated with my past. I am now present. I embrace who I am, and I am thankful for my learnings. Thank you, life, for my new blank page. That is so beautiful. It reminds me, I always used to get digging for gold, and you are the treasure. And so, yeah, so nothing happens by chance. Honor your path. Nothing honor happens by chance. The road traveled is just perfect. I release the guilt associated with my past and I'm now present. I embrace who I am and I'm thankful for my learnings and thank you life for my new blank page. Beautiful. And here we have winter sewing, winter sewing. Living better in these times will depend on observing which of my values have sprung from my heart and which were implanted by social institutions. Wow, this is a powerful message for right now, treasure. Uh, yes, 
it's all going to depend on observing your values uh, sprung from your heart, right, rather than what was implanted. We are systematically influenced to deviate from our purpose and programmed to be ruthless competitors, turning us into products of manipulation. It is up to me alone to look at the social structure in truth and to rethink how I will benefit from this journey of life, a life based on pointless consumption in an unfulfilled life, is an unfulfilled life. To find that fullness and autonomy, it is necessary for me to study without being immersed in books or hoarding more information, but rather studying the best way to live in harmony with myself and all the beings who inhabit this planet. The time has come for reason to become an, an advisor to my feelings. Today, I begin to plant the seeds of a successful future, a future whose fruits I may neither see nor taste, but which next generations will be able to harvest and the message is to prioritize. So it's like honor you and your path right now. Be in the present. You are the treasure. And prioritize. I am I'm aware that I have the ability to ignore or discredit those feelings which cause inconvenience, inconvenience or go against the status quo. Subconsciously, I am turning a blind eye to the truth to avoid addressing the problems of my actions or my community. I am aware that I have the ability to feel the right path and to see the truth clearly. And today I can choose to be in tune again with my inner guidance for the good of my soul and for the well-being of all other souls around me. And today I feel with my head and think with my heart. It's a good time. Heaven is open and the earth supports me. Wow. And so that is a clear message for right now. I want to get another message. These are beautiful, very deep, insightful messages. And that is so for this time right now, right? Um, so let's get additional messages. I just want to keep going. This is beautiful messages in that guidebook. And we're going to get perceptions and the encounter. Wow encounter and perceptions okay so this is so beautiful so i just want to do the treasure winter sewing i should put it like this the encounter and perceptions okay so let's do the encounter this is so beautiful i love the encounter i love that image so so much oh boy what this artwork is just transporting me it's so beautiful the encounter i love this card the encounter, my mind has roamed confusing worlds and alien ideas have clouded my truth. Life talks to me clearly now and tells me to follow the natural flow, the movement of life, that heartbeat that moves us in only one direction, just as the tree flourishes with no resistance, just as love heals, the time to reincarnate is now. And messages listen. I learned to listen to nature, to others, to every single subtle and blatant external sound. By listening to myself, I see myself and I regain personal power. My song is more than just that. My song is singing itself. It has always been this way and it will remain the same. Singing very softly, you learn to listen. And with listening, no, you learn to see. Things from mystery, to listen is to see. Wow. So they're asking you to listen, 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 listen to everything, listen to yourself, listen to everything and perceptions. Okay. So let's get into perceptions. We have, I am now at a point in my life where I am able to consciously look at the different paths I may choose to travel. I can follow the same path by choice and continue to grow. I can change to another path and explore other mysteries. I can also deconstruct myself if I choose to. I can begin again. Today, I measure how much my old learnings limit or expand me. When I consciously observe the path I've taken, I can choose my next step with more certainty. I am exactly at the right point to review my values. We had values come up here, be in sync with your values. At this time, I am exactly at the right point to review my values, principles, interests. I stop for a moment and reflect on the lessons I have learned from my successes and failures, and thus I find the clarity I was looking for. There are things to care for, and I go step by step. 
broadening the view and reinvention. That is the message of this card. I stop, breathe slowly, and contemplate for a moment where I am. There is no need to change my essence to face new challenges and discover opportunities. Love is more than just a word. It is an attitude that springs up before everything around me. I give myself to the world because I belong to the world and the world is mine. Today, life brings the answer or the question that I need most. Wow, I just wanna keep going. This is gorgeous. I just wanna keep going. I love these messages. I can see how it's bringing you in tune with yourself. And this is exquisite artwork and exquisite messages. I love the messages in here. I just don't want to stop. You just want to keep going. Stellar embrace. Stellar embrace. Okay, this all ended here with stellar embrace. This is so beautiful. Stellar embrace. Hold on, let me get it. Stellar embrace. I argued with reality and life felt like a strict teacher. How can I rest in my here and now when the situation is so complex? So I took a journey of self-observation and found a limitation that I hadn't seen before. Little by little, adapting to the new and accepting that space as it is, a deep gratitude began to grow in me. Today, I welcome in my heart a sacred sadness, a true vulnerable I. Today, I finally give myself a break. Life invites me to dare to go through that dark night of feelings not fully lived because it is useless to fight against the inevitable. Much of the dance of life is moving in an uncertain, mysterious direction. I am not in control, so I let go of that struggle, move out of the way, and stop being the interference in my own path. I accept my sadness and I grow in joy. I accept my weakness and increase my strength. And this is all a the message is acceptance and reconciliation. Acceptance and reconciliation. Acceptance matures in me when there is full confidence that I can throw myself into the void and pass through the confusion, knowing that the intelligence of life always sustains me. I jump into an abyss made of fear, and after jumping, I begin to float. As I float, I look down from above, and the landscape of acceptance permeates me completely my inner struggle calms down and an immense force springs forth from that place. I reconcile myself. I embrace in myself all that is coming. What you deny claims you. What you accept transforms you. That is beautiful. So we have treasure, winter sowing, the encounter, perceptions, stellar embrace. This is just so gorgeous. You just wanna keep going and going and going and going and going and going. I mean, I just want to keep going. I just find it so beautiful. Should I get one more? I'm just going to get one more. I don't know why. You just want to keep going. They're beautiful messages. It's beautiful artwork, and it's so relaxing. I can honestly say my energy has changed. I've just become so much more relaxed. Um, you're just fully transported. So we'll end it here. Sacred geometry. Why not? Sacred geometry. Sacred geometry. Order and chaos, despite being opposites, are intimately linked. One does not exist without the other. It is the illusion of duality that makes us perceive them as different things, even though their essence is identical. Every chaotic situation is a moment of change and transformation with the potential to generate a new reality. The sacred geometry in this painting represents a metaphor of order in the universe. It comprises dimensions, codes, systems, symbols that represent the source of life, matter, and spirit. Today, the invitation is to address internal chaos with perspective. Well, we have perceptions. To welcome chaos is to allow the obsolete to be destroyed and transformed. Today, I let things break and fall apart. That's exactly what just happened with my day and then what's happening on the big stage, small stage, but whatever's going on in your life. Today, I let things break and fall apart if that's the way it has to be. What goes away always leaves room for something new. And this is the law of evolution, the universe, galaxies, nature, and of the human being. And this symbolizes order. I observe the movements of the universe within my own day-to-day -day life, just what I was saying. 
Recognize my resilience and personal strength within the ebbs and flows, observing the dance of chaos and the teachings it leaves behind on the path of learning. I realize that the destruction of ignorance marks the arrival of knowledge, order, and love. I have chills. I understand that the nature of chaos and order transcends the label of positive or negative. The whole picture is my guide through uncertainty. I am at peace. Oh my God, I could see why I kept going. That just fed me on so many levels. I have chills. If you're still here, you probably have chills. Um, that was beautiful. What, what an amazing message for right now. I love these cards. I definitely have my favorites already with the designs, like which ones I love the most. Um, these are exquisite, exquisite. And I love the messages. I was reading from this guidebook and as you go in here, um, it will give you full meaning here. And I love how it's broken down. So it gives what I was reading and then the message. Um, it's just flower of life. I have all the tools I need. An ancient knowledge dwells in me, the universal memory. Thanks to this information, I transcend my blockages, my pain. I turn them into gifts for the planet. This is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. I mean, I bought it because I loved, I saw the art, some of the artwork and I thought beautiful. Now reading the messages and everything else and seeing all the cards, beautiful. It's just so beautiful. So this was the Spiral Oracle. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's actually, I mean, I'm so beautiful. Um, 62 cards in here. I love the images in here and I love the messages. I mean, that was really, really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, so this has been the close-up review of the Spiral Oracle. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.